destroyed your world piece by piece. It's only a matter of time until I find you. You won't have to look far. Ah, Modern Warfare. Before 2019, okay. The Modern Warfare trilogy that is before 2019, the what's called the reboot or remake, whatever it is you wish to call it, it's not that very good. Uh, the second Modern Warfare was plagued with controversy, even with a remastered. That second game was banned in Russia, most uh, many countries, because oh, he got a lot of flag when it came out. Sometimes the, the battle between gamers and journalists was heating up, or perhaps gamers and traditional media at least. That is the scapegoat. Gamers are now playing it, which I think this is a good time for you to play the trilogy before the reboot. RPG game well well let's just say captain price looks good yeah it's better than i think he's a bit similar to the reboot i don't know if they changed the model or anything but i had to say at least the face model was one to one the first game lets you play as soap mctavish and then paul jackson before he was kia the mission was long there was also a flashback scene of i think it was two two mission of flashback of lieutenant price who is now captain price and uh, the first two game was good was awesome until the third one came which is uh, mediocre and the third one is most like continuation of the second one the modern warfare 2 and uh, well even though you get a chance to take down makarov in a climactic battle however the i think some people see it as mediocre i think maybe it's because either the story is bad or perhaps the multiplayer is bad or whatever it is and yes multiplayer i'm not going to touch on that i know some people have their own issues like for example cheaters which is something that's not going to be fixed. Yeah, it's not going to be fixed with Activision. You know how they work. Now, weapons, uh, well, I, I think by the time Modern Warfare 3, the weapons are increased. You got the PKP Pachenek. It, well, the, still, they use the AK-47, which isn't exactly AK-47. Regardless, they don't have right to the other guns. Something you cannot argue with that. In the second and the third one, you get to ride on a helicopter. By the third one, you also get a ride on a tank, even though you can't even well, pilot the tank. And yes, you can use RPG to take out tanks, though sometimes I have a hard time because it keeps on going up, which that's what an RPG do. Every time you got hit, it goes up. And there are times when I hit it, it didn't exactly go through. Sometimes it destroyed, sometimes it bounced for some reason. As for the helicopter scene, well, it's good. It didn't overheat because remember, you're in the air. The wind immediately cools it down. Now, there's also underwater scene, which is not much. You just swim around, stealth kill anything, and take out a submarine. First time for everything. And there are stealth missions. Sadly, I'm suck at it. Sometimes it's hard enough to follow something when you need to get what's called a intel or perhaps a weapons or anything and overall the trilogy was good i mean it got itself a remaster for the first and two games like for example the remaster it gives what called a hit marker so that you can tell if you are hitting or not like the original one doesn't have a hit marker oh yeah I think only the first and second mod and third mod no the first and third modern warfare has ac-130 i mean it may not be like a plane but hey better than nothing in conclusion that I think Modern Warfare 3 or the trilogy that is before the reboot deserves a chance, okay? This reboot, well, you guys can argue with me with that, but I prefer that remake or perhaps the remaster and the OG one needs to give a chance, despite its controversy.
leave a like and subscribe and uh, comment down below if you guys have any video game suggestion or recommendation 